All right, the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Earl Spence Jr. Uh, being involved in a car accident. Uh, we're going to get uh, everyone's opinion and thoughts on that. Uh, Stocks went off with Trill. Um, on behalf of me and the Boxing Bros family, I would like to send uh, love and thoughts well wishes to Earl Spence and his family. Um, when I heard about it and I seen the crash, um, my heart sunk. You know what I'm saying? Earl, just coming off of unifying, becoming the WBC champ and the IBF champ. It would have been really, 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 um, I'm glad. I know the one says that I'm glad that um, he's going to pull through and he's going to recover. And um, my heart just goes out to him and I'm, um, I'm just hoping for a speedy recovery, Earl. G? Yeah, um, yeah I'm also hoping for a speedy recovery for uh, Spence. Um, although it was a major accident, I'm happy to hear that there's no like major like damage, no broken bones. Um, they said like he has like a couple of cuts on his face, but you know it's like minor. So hopefully there's no like you know brain damage or anything, and so he could actually still continue on on an elite level uh, in the heavy. I mean the welterweight division. Um, I I hope now. Dudes aren't like, you know, quick to try to take a fight with them because they feel like that that accent is gonna give them an advantage. So you know, hopefully Al Heyman and other people that's handling his career will you know let him like you know rest up a little bit. You know what I mean, maybe take a year off if the the you know if the um, the governing bodies will allow it. You know, due to the fact of a major injury like that, a car accident like that. So. I'm just hoping he actually takes his time just to, you know, just recover and be 100%. Because I wouldn't want him to go back into the ring at like 85%. And then maybe that extra 15 that he would have he would have got from rest, he doesn't have. And it costs him his belt, you know. So, yeah, I just wish a speedy recovery. Uh, well, I'm not going to comment too much on it. Of course, uh, you never want to see anything bad happen to someone. And I wish the best for him and uh, a speedy recovery. At the same time, it just baffles me when athletes make certain decisions. Um, I think of Paul Williams, who was in a motorcycle accident and became paralyzed. Uh, he was one of the top uh, fighters in the division, <clears throat> top super Walter Waits. And uh, he was also Paul the Punisher Williams. He was one of the most feared guys. He was 6'1 at 154 pounds. And had boxing skill and people, it, 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 he, he didn't move up when he fought uh, Sergio uh, Martinez at, uh, yeah, so he fought him at Super Walter Waite. Mm -hmm. And um, basically that's when he suffered like a devastating one punch knockout to Sergio Martinez, one of the best knockouts uh, that I've ever seen. But he was a fighter whose career was derailed due to him being in a motorcycle accident. Diego Corrales, who passed away in a motorcycle accident, the great Diego Corrales involved in one of the great Diego Corrales. That's right, involved in one of the greatest uh, comeback fights um, ever in the history of the sport of boxing. Mm -hmm. A fight we'll never see duplicated because referees are going to stop a fight, mm -hmm. and some people feel like they should have stopped the fight before uh, Diego was able to get that knockout. So you have that. And then uh, there are other examples of people like. Uh, Jason Pierre Paul, who's an American football player, and he was uh, lighting a firecrack, playing with firecrackers, lighting firecrackers, and then he had an accident in which his fingers got blown off, and he ended up having to reconstruct uh, his contract and take less money, and he clearly hasn't been the same player since. Uh, when you're an athlete, your body is a commodity. Uh, your body should be treated as a business when you're an athlete. When you're an athlete, you're paid based on your ability to perform. You, these guys, these professional athletes should have nutritionists. They should uh, have actual trainers, not your uh, uncle or someone who isn't. But you need someone who actually trains, someone who knows what they're doing. I think these fighters don't take their career serious enough. 
and uh, things like this happen. Hopefully this is a wake up call to Earl to uh, take your career seriously. Don't be speeding in motor vehicles. Don't be out drinking and driving home late. And I'm not saying that that's what happened, but we all know uh, it's well documented online that Earl and, had, and his drinking uh, played a role. I, I, well, well, I'm, not, I'm not saying it played a role, but what I'm saying is we know that that's something that's out there. And when there's something out, that's out there like that, you don't know what it is. But what my hope for uh, professional athletes is everyone learn from this experience, right? If, if it means paying someone to drive you home after a good night, if it means you know, uh, hiring professionals and just take your career seriously. Don't be out speeding on motorcycles. Don't be out speeding in cars. Remember, one bad move, career's over. Paul Williams, Diego Corrales, look at those examples, learn from them. Yeah. Earl, I don't want to take this to make it a, 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 a teaching episode. I just also wanted to really just how at one minute, one moment, you could be riding high. And then the next, it could be all over. But I totally agree with what you said. Everything that you said. We heard about all the rumors about Earl, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. I just hope that he gets some good people around him. You know what I'm saying? Because um, that could have really been bad. That could have been really, really, really bad. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just glad that it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I'm just definitely glad it wasn't. Any closing remarks, anybody, gentlemen? Just to get well. I hope that he recovers and he's 100%. I hope this is nothing but an experience that leads to the best Earl Spence we'll see. Earl, future. come on, Earl. Never again. Let's not do this, Earl. That was horrible, Earl. Please check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Like and subscribe. It's the Boxing Bros.